Los Angeles County Sheriff Lee Baca has opted to take his federal corruption case to trial, and he withdrew his guilty plea today. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter has the stunning developments in this report from downtown L.A. I need to set the record straight. About me and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department on misleading aspects of the federal investigation. Defiant words from disgraced former L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca following a move by his attorneys to take his case to trial. The 74-year-old initially pleaded guilty to his role in a massive jail corruption scandal where he admitted to lying to authorities during a federal probe on alleged inmate abuse by deputies. Now he's withdrawing that plea when he says he only agreed to to avoid a lengthy trial and to spare his family the heartache. Why? I made this decision due to untruthful comments about my actions made by the court and the U.S. Attorney's Office that are contradicted by evidence in this case. Federal Judge Percy Anderson rejected Baca's initial plea agreement that would have involved a six-month sentence. Time, Anderson argued, wasn't harsh enough given the severity of the case. Instead of gambling with a longer sentence, the judge was sure to hand down with Baca facing a maximum five years behind bars. His legal team chose to take this case to trial. He's really in a fight for his life at this point. Baca's attorneys had argued due to his Alzheimer's disease, he's reportedly in the early stages, he shouldn't have to serve time in prison, but added their client's mental state now and during the federal probe will be a crucial factor in the upcoming trial that they're confident they'll win. In a progressive neurological disease that he is going to have accelerated periods where his, uh, where his physical and mental capabilities are going to diminish. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News.